Do you prefer physical horror, blood, gore, etc., or psychological horror, mind games, etc.? Why? Psychological for me. Just the type of scary shit that sits in your head for a while. I don't mind some physical horror. But I just can't bring myself to enjoy excessively gory movies. I definitely prefer psychological. But I'm even more a fan of paranormal horrors. Psychological horror. It just feels more real. Plus I love a movie or game that makes you think. Cosmic horror. Is it too much to ask for both? Psychological. I like seeing people be fucked with. And I like people who have the talent to do so. Anybody can drill a motherfucker's kneecaps or take a machete to a guy's spine. Not everyone is capable of inducing a mental breakdown. I'm dating myself, but the original Aliens was the best horror movie of all time. Even though it's not as scary in this era. No one knew what the thing was and it just got bigger and scarier. It was a psychological thriller with a scary ass monster. I don't like gore. I can handle blood and limbs being severed and such but when it comes to guts and brains explicitly, I can't watch it. I can't even look at roadkill. There's several movies that I would enjoy more without the extreme gore, so psychological for me. Definitely. Comedic horror. I guess I acquired that taste from watching too many cheesy horror movies in the 80s, 90s. Psychological horror. Because I find it more interesting and I'm not good when it comes up seeing lots of blood, also. I like mind games as I get to think what I'd do. Psychological because I like being mind fucked. Psychological for sure. It kerfuckles with your brain dude. Edit. However. Bad psychological horror movies are no fun to watch. Whereas physical horror is fun to watch no matter how cheesy and predictable it is. Needs a mixture. Psychological horror with no gory payoff is disappointing. Physical horror with no tension building to the act is tedious. Physical. I prefer slashers over the movies with any kind of paranormal stuff like ghosts and demons. The Conjuring is the main one I remember but I know I'll keep avoiding Insidious and Sinister. I watch the slashers for the action in that. Thrill, on edge. Feeling, psych horror. This is of course increased for ghosts and demons. Usually terrifies me. I know some people enjoy the feeling of a good psychological horror movie but I do not. Psychological. I'm too desensitized to gore. It doesn't phase me and all these slasher films are really lazy. For psychological horror it has to be done well. Sadly too many rely on cheap jump scares. Some examples of good psychological horror films. The Shining. Duh. Rosemary's Baby What Lies Beneath Funny Games. I would have to say body horror would be my favorite. The mangling of the human form has always been the most unsettling to me. Necromorphs from Dead Space are a prefect example. Psychological. There are things worse than death. All true horror is psychological. The effect of the film with its superficial artifices is to reach the deepest hidden fears of the psyche and unconsciousness. Take for example the zombie. Fears that the society around you on which you fully rely will try to kill you. That you will become mindless in a mob of death and destruction. A dim awareness that society is already like this. The werewolf. That man's uncontrollable urges will overcome him. Again, it's about reflection of the self. Introspection. Demonic possession. Insanity. Alien creatures. What about pure? Gore? Texas chainsaw like faceless killers. This is the unnamed fear. The fear without a name or a face. The unknown. A manifestation of the existential struggle we experience when met with unfair mortality. The feeling of futility. In its heart. Horror is close to comedy in a sense that it allows showing and sharing parts of people and society that are otherwise difficult or even impossible to discuss. But rather than to show us ourselves by letting us laugh at ourselves. It does so through showing us what we are afraid of. I'm not really a horror person. But I really like playing Doki Doki Literature Club, so I guess psychological horror. Physical horror for sure. I'm a grown ass man and I refuse to watch physical horror. I got enough real, gruesome shit that I've seen stuck in my head. I don't need to add to it for fun. Whereas psychological really kind of lets you decide how scared you wanna get or what you want to imagine. The last movie I saw before quarantine was The Invisible Man and it was absolutely amazing. Psychological for sure. Physical horror on film is okay. It just doesn't affect me much either way. Jump scares affect me, but not pleasantly. Psychological horror is the only thing that produces that. Scared in a fun way. Feeling for me. Neither. I fucking hate horror. 
Psychological. It's not always the case. But psychological horror is just more interesting than physical. To me. I want it to linger while I'm laying in the dark later. Guess it's sort of fucked up that we're all desensitized. But physical stuff is boring at this point. Only so many ways to fake kill someone. Physical always. I'm an omega level pussy when it comes to psychological horror. I'm on edge after watching a horror movie for a few days. And I can't even read anything horror related without freaking out a bit. Gore can be initially shocking but it's just that for me. An initial shock and then get on with it. Psychological lingers for far too long. Psychological horror. Watch the movie The Deer Hunter. It will make you cry. Psych. Blood and gore are fine and all. But I'm usually bored after the first 10 minutes of screaming and gallons of fake blood. The best horror movies fuck with your head on a deeper level than, oh golly no. The dumb white girl got beheaded yet again. And no, the Saw series doesn't count. Frequently suggested. Psychological thriller. Horror for some reason. At all. I was just annoyed by the end of the first one. And I fell asleep in the second one. Why not both? Psychological horror is the genre that keeps on giving. If I am truly unnerved by a game movie in a psychological way, my mind continues to invent more similar threats long after the story is over. I don't know if it's me, but I love watching people's sanity deteriorate. It gives me some weird sense of pleasure for some reason. While I can handle gore more than psychological horror, sometimes gore horror makes me angry because the reason they're in that gory situation is because they're stupid. Physical horror because I want to be able to sleep or shower afterwards without being scared. The lingering. Oh crap. From psychological or supernatural stuff is too much for me. But you can kill a monster and move on. Psychological. Definitely. Gore is cheap, give me dread. Give me that passage you just don't go down because fucking nope. And leave it there threatening me with its sheer existence. An open. Unknown threat behind you. So there's no safe ground. If you want to horrify me. Make everything just a little bit wrong. Like a stress dream. People not quite looking at you when they talk to you. With answers that don't quite line up. And timing that's unnatural. Mess with the speed of people's gait mid-stride. Make text ambiguous and weird. I once had a watch with a second hand. And as the battery started to die. It didn't always have the juice to move it every tick. Sometimes. It would hang for 3 to 5 seconds and then catch up in one stuttery rush. And Jesus that was just nasty. Give me sleep paralysis noises if you're a bastard. Go read Blindsight by Peter Watts. Both for the larger implications and for the goddamn vampires. Related only tangentially to supernatural nocturnal bloodsuckers. These are more like obligate sociopaths. Psychological horror. Psychological horror. If they succeed to insert few actually good jump scares and some scenes that stay in your mind for a while I'm fully into it. I know Scream in Netflix has both and I love the series, Blood, Gore, Mind Games, Jump Scares and actually good storyline. Physical horror. Especially if the character deserved it. Let the guts flow. Let the guts flow. Whenever I think about this my mind instantly jumps to Hannibal. The TV show was a big favorite of mine in terms of both of these types of horror. I'm a go with neither. I like to be happy. Psychological because I'm a intile cutual. I prefer when I think it is one, but then it turns out to be the other. Psychological unless the blood and gore are non-realistic. Realistic gore gets to me a bit. I look away from surgery scenes too. Psychological thrillers. I have never been a fan of pure gore or blood. It bores me in the same way action films bore me. Cool. Another person's arm got chopped off. Great. His tongue was ripped out of his mouth. Yawn. It's mostly so impractical that it doesn't do anything for me and if it's realistic. It doesn't scare me so much as. Make me curious to look of cases of it happening for fun facts. Psychological horror because the scary atmosphere is really frightening while blood and gore and jump scares are cheap and overdone. I like a movie with both but heavier on the psychological side. There's only been one or two films that hit it perfect. Psychological. I hate jump scares. Well my favorite horror work is Elfin Lied. Which is kinda both and neither. Psychological all the way. Blood and gore for me is the easy way out for horror. I'm not saying it can't be scary. But for me personally. It doesn't feel as real as mind games. There's something truly terrifying about horror that messes with your mind perception, and emotions, something difficult to describe. It makes you question your sanity. That's what horror is to me. 
I like watching the Saw movies and such. It's good to shut your brain off for a couple of hours and watch torture porn, but psychological horror produces the much better movies. The Lighthouse by Robert Eggers is a great example of psychological horror done right. Neither. The second one. I don't know. But I think that while there are certain movies that do the first one right. And I mean, right. I think that this is more of an easy way to make horror, and it's more. In your face. Because it plays with our immediate fear of pain and death. So it doesn't tend to have as much of a buildup. It's direct in approach and result. And usually very final. But the second is harder to do. And it's the one that actually makes many of us stay on our toes, probably making us second guess everything. And develop a neurosis or something along the way. It's just so frustrating with psychological horror. Again, when done right. Having to wait to see what will happen. All those cliffhangers. Only for in the end not all questions have answers or be as satisfactory as we wanted. Psychological. Makes the movie feel personal because you can relate to so much. A physical pain only lasts a few seconds compared to the everlasting effects of psychological pain. 